Hi, I'm Jennifer of Scenic Crowd, and I'm going to tell you that one of my favorite things about our business is upcycling, repurposing, using old pieces of junk that would otherwise be discarded, and turning them into something that's useful. Pieces that you just don't really know what to do with, they kind of get set aside, and I was looking the other day trying to find a project to do, and I, the more I looked at this piece right here, the more it resembled an old mason jar, and I was just like, Hmm, well that kind of really does look like a mason jar and so I've decided to incorporate a few other things um, from the sewing machine and just some scrap lumber and some uh, corbels that I got from Hobby Lobby I believe. But this right here is a piece from the sewing machine too. As you open the door, um, it's an antique sewing machine, so as you open the door um, there's these things right here that um, the bobbin set on and I thought well I can just put her keys right there and you know you can have um, a shelf to hold different things as you're walking through the door this can hang in your entryway um, I put a piece of sheet metal right here and so you can actually um, use it as like a poster board I'm very forgetful just because I have so much going on up here <laughs> that um, it's just nice to have notes. But my main inspiration for this, of course, is this antique um, ball mason jar, like a sea glass type color green. And so I'm painting on this metal, a little bit of the wood and down here. And I'll have that list for you at the very end of the video so you're not gonna be missing out. All I did to prep this metal was um, use an orbital sander and just went over it um, until I was happy with it, but mostly because it had scratches. Um, but then I wiped it clean with alcohol and it should just be good to go. And I'm gonna be using uh, different blues and um, a little bit of greens just to give the reminiscent of glass. And I'm gonna make this metal hopefully look like a mason jar. <laughs> I find it funny in the last couple of years that I've painted both wood and glass to look like metal and now I'm painting metal to look like glass. DIY paint is so versatile it's perfect for every type of project that you have. If you take your brush and along the bottoms have like a curve in it right there that'll give it a more realistic feel of a glass actually sitting there since you're painting on a flat surface you just kind of give the illusion that it is curved while the metal is drying I'm going to go ahead and um, paint the lid of my mason jar Blending the brown into the grays just kind of gives it an extra rusty, metallic look. For the body of this project, I started with darker colors like green and dark brown and made sure that I covered the screws on the corbels well. And then I layered more white and brown and just made several passes and going over it with a damp brush and even finger painting to create an old farmhouse finish. I use chalk a lot when I'm working with a design because you can easily change it if you make a mistake and when you're done you can erase it. A dry brush works well to remove the chalk when you're finished. Hand lettering can be difficult. Just remember to add a little bit more water than normal onto your brush to make sure that the paint glides smoothly across the surface.
Using a fine tip brush or even a larger one that just comes to a fine tip is best for projects like this, especially working with smaller letters. With magnets being used over painted metal, and I imagine this is going to have a lot of use over the years, I wanted to make sure that I sealed it up with two coats of Big Top. After the base coat of brown on the lettering, I added a little bit of the blue and the white, and when it was dry, I just wiped away the excess chalk with a dry brush. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Tune in every 7th of the month. That's when my new videos are going to be released. Please subscribe to this channel and also hop on over to Scenic Route Painting Outside the Lines to subscribe because I have a lot of plans, a lot of projects to do, a lot of upcycling to do. I am pleased with how this farmhouse style message board turned out and happy to be able to incorporate many of the salvage sewing machine pieces into my design. I used an old hook to hang a leash with and a salvage piece of walnut to hold your mail. Making it a one of a kind piece of functional art for your home. Take care and I'll see you on the scenic route. Bye bye.